Hey gang, I'm Rob. Welcome back to Rob's Retro Garage. If this is your first time here, then welcome. If you're a returning viewer, then welcome back. We're glad to have you either way. Um, today we're going to be starting a new series. This is the Brake System Overhaul Series. Uh, this is part one in that series where we're going to look at removing the brake calipers. I'm going to show you tips and tricks and tools that you need to remove the calipers. And uh, why are we doing this? Well, it's going to further the goal of getting this car back on the road. It also will make it safer to drive by reconditioning and repairing the calipers. So let's get started. Garage, As you can see, we're working on a tire today, or at least we're looking at a tire. Um, I've already taken the uh, lug nuts off of it, as you can see. So I've gotten it ready to come off. Um, have not looked at it yet. But we're continuing uh, the series for the brakes. And specifically today, I'm going to be working on taking the caliper off. Um, I already took the caliper off on the passenger side. Um, I broke it down, uh, you know, went through all the trials and tribulations of figuring out how to do it and um, sort of planning out this video. And I think this is the best way to do it is I'll start on the uh, driver's side now, uh, the front driver's side. And we'll pull the tire off and we'll get in there and we'll take a look uh, at the, uh, the brake caliper. And uh, we'll try and get it off. Uh, I'm gonna cut the brake lines because I'm not gonna reuse them. Um, so we'll go ahead and get those out of the way. Um, and we'll just take the whole caliper off and then we'll uh, take it apart and we'll look at it uh, in, uh, you know, we'll check out the brake pads and see how badly worn they were. The brake pads on the other side were, uh, were pretty nasty. Um, actually, let me go get one. They're uh, laying on the floor right over here. The, uh, there's a pen at the top of the uh, caliper that holds the brake pads in. And that particular pin on the passenger side didn't have the cotter pin on it. So it was completely loose. So these could have fallen off at any time. And we drove it uh, a couple hundred miles. Um, but anyway, here is one of the pads. You can see it's got cracks all in it. I mean, it looks really bad. And the rotors, uh, I can only assume, are original to the car. There's the other brake pad. You can see it's got fewer cracks in it. Um, but as I was saying, the rotors, I can only assume are original to the car because they are still riveted on, at least on the passenger side. Um, so I'm sure it's the same on the driver's side. And I've glanced at the calipers in the rear and the two calipers in the rear uh, are all covered with rust. Um, the two calipers in the front were not. So whoever uh, bubbled this up before me had uh, at least done some work with the front calipers. Um, so anyway, uh, with no further ado, let's get this tire off and we'll take a look at the, uh, uh, getting the, uh, the caliper off. Okay, guys, <clears throat> let's get this thing off. You're looking at it for the first time with me. Let me put this over here out of the way. <clears throat> Get you in here a little closer. Yeah, we don't want to do that. much better so you can see the same as I do and it's got a hole right there and there's a bigger hole down there it's exactly the same way as it was on the uh, caliper on the passenger side and this one does have the cotter pin in it to uh, hold it in now the thing that was a SOB to get off the last time was there is a fixture that goes on to the brake line and uh, it goes into the caliper. It doesn't 
screw directly into the caliper. There's a fixture between the uh, brake line over there and the caliper. And my God, that was hard to get out. Um, <clears throat> I wound up getting the deep socket stuck on it and I haven't been able to get it off yet. Um, but uh, yeah, it was not fun. So anyway, let me go and uh, get some stuff and uh, I'll go ahead and put a uh, uh, drip pan underneath it and I'll cut that, uh, that hose and we'll bust that caliper off of there as best we can. Okay, before we go to take them off, I thought I would show you these. These are the two bolts, <clears throat> two of the four bolts that hold the caliper together. This is from the one that I took off uh, earlier. This one actually physically holds the two halves of the calipers together. And this one holds it on to the, uh, the spindle. So <clears throat> the sockets to take these off respectively is a 5 eighths and you can see that goes right inside there so 5 eighths for the ones that hold it on to the caliper and then I had to go up a size my uh, my kit here does not hold it it is 13 sixteenths and that is what you see the light in my backyard keeps going off and on it's because of me and then the 13 sixteenths fits in there so we'll use that to take them apart and we'll use this to get them off of the uh, the spindle but here's a pro tip i learned on the other side don't take these off well don't remove the caliper and then try to take this off because it's not going to work it's very hard to do you have to have a vice grip you have to be really strong so use the spindle uh, than the, the substructure of the car uh, to hold on to these things and give you some leverage to turn and uh, they'll come right off. But I definitely had to use a, uh, uh, an electric uh, breaker tool for this. So yeah, anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Hey guys, we're looking at the back side of the caliper now. So here, is the bolt that holds the caliper on to the control arm and the spindle. This is the bolt that holds the calipers together. And this is the PETA fixture I was talking about. This thing is in there so freaking tight. So what I had to do for the first one was I had to, the practice one was I had to cut the hose right there and then put a deep socket on it. And uh, that allowed me to get it off, but it got stuck on the deep socket. So <laughs> uh, and I can't get it off, or at least I haven't really seriously tried to yet. But um, anyway, uh, back there's the, uh, right there is the uh, other bolt that holds the caliper together. No, that's the one that holds the caliper together. That's the one that holds it onto the, uh, the bracket. There's the bleeder screw. You can see it's all nasty and rusty. That was rather difficult to get off. Uh, as well. So I'm just going to wind up cutting this thing uh, and then I've got to take it off uh, right there. Uh, there's just a little clip that slides out and that comes apart. So let's get to it. I have the right way to begin with. Looks like it was going in. It's still coming up. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do.
think that's loose enough for right now. Okay, so we got that up. Shit. I just want the bolt to go back in a little bit. That should be enough to hold it so I can take this one out. To be able to lift that up. Try not to punch the camera. <sighs> and I did. And again, I'm just trying to save myself some frustration getting these bolts loose. That's loose. Now, I'm gonna cut that line and we'll just pull it on out.
go. One brake line out. Now I'm going to take a wrench and I'm going to try and loosen this thing up. I think it was five eighths. Yep. Well, well, Jesus on the cracker. Well, I'll leave that on for right now. All right. Get my other glove here. You can see that brake fluid is coming right out. I don't know if you can see that or not. See the brake fluid? It would help if I didn't misplace my... sockets okay so now the caliper should be free be free yes be free be free sahib be free Take this little fixture off and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This one was so much easier than the other one. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to come off, but you see, that's the, the fixture I was referring to. And it goes right into the caliper from the brake line directly into the caliper yeah and see i don't know if you can see this or not i can't see the camera angle from here but you see it's turned in the uh inside the the socket itself so or inside the the wrench so i'll need to get another wrench and put in there and twist it just a little bit and i hope that that'll get it out but anyway that's that. While we're here, let's pull. Oops. Let's pull the light around here. Let's look at the rotor. Pull the light around here and we'll look at the rotor. And as you can see, this rotor is exactly like the other ones it is riveted on so i'm gonna have to drill those things out so this rotor is probably original to the car they came that way from the factory oh and another pro tip just put your uh your lugs back on the back on the wheel uh, that way you don't have to keep up with them you always know where they're at Eventually, I'll have to take them off, but uh, for now, they're right where they need to be, so that's a free pro tip. 